Three same words or three different words? Three same words, go, go, go. Uh, three different words, yeah. Amazing, challenging, but exciting. Training, training changed in the fact that I already pushed long distances, but I had to push long distances at a higher speed, which, which was challenging. And for me, I had to start pushing those long distances and stay in my chair. So obviously for the 100, I can get out of my chair, stretch my legs. Unlike a lot of the girls, I've got full feeling in my legs. So to sit in the chair is quite uncomfortable. Um, but as well, it was finding the right balance with my coach between sprint training and distance training, mm -hmm. which not many athletes have to do. So it was splitting the week and, and saying like, I could still focus and be strong over the sprint because that will always help me in the distance. But mm -hmm. how do I get those extra miles in? How, how do I push those distances? And um, yeah, really it, it was just about trusting my coach and knowing, mm -hmm. thinking hopefully that she knew what she was doing and hey, it paid off. <laughs> Me and Teddy work well, it is, it is down to trust, it's just down to trust and I didn't really know how to train for an 800 meter so I mm -hmm. had to believe that she did and um, again, like I said, it worked but also just about respect and respect about being an athlete is not just about uh, racing, it's not just about training, mm -hmm. it's not about everything that you think an athlete is about, it's about, you know, for, for a, a para-athlete, come in and, and be with your sponsors, I'm here with Irwin Mitchell tonight and, mm -hmm. and just just trying to get that little bit of extra you know the next part of life sorted out at the same time so for Jenny it's about accepting that I have to do that and, and finding time for me to balance it in and for me it's about accepting that sometimes I'm not always going to like what Jenny sets me but I'll just have to get on with it. <laughs> um, what am I doing that they're not doing? I don't honestly I have no idea I think I don't think I'm doing anything different. I think just experience is on my side. I've, I've experienced Paralympic Games, I've experienced the World Championships, and that massively helps. Um, obviously, I've got some again, great sponsors behind me, which the funding and, and just having that team that you trust behind you helps as well, knowing that what you've got works, whereas maybe they're still trying to find their feet. But overall, I guess all that comes down to age. You know, I've had the time to do that, and, and I think that's what puts me ahead. Um, so I always paint my nails to match either my kit or my chair, which is totally pointless because uh, I've got gloves on. Um, I have lucky underwear, so mm -hmm. different underwear for each distance. Um, so I wear Wonder Woman underwear and Wonder Woman socks for 100. Wonder Woman underwear and Batman socks for the 400. No, I've got it wrong here. Wonder Woman underwear and Superman socks for the 400. And then Superman underwear and Batman socks for the 800. Yeah. Okay, um, I always listen to Skip to hold on before mm -hmm. I race, and I always eat strawberry laces. <laughs> um, I put Sam Ruddock as um, Sully, mm -hmm. uh, I would put Ben Rowling's as Mike, and I would put Holly Arnold as Boo. Um, Sam, because it's real hair. Mike, because Mike, Ben, <laughs> because he's just always there, just mm -hmm. annoying you. And it's, I can say that because he's my best friend, but he, he is just that annoying little brother. Mm -hmm. And Holly, because she's my best friend, she's so cute and just, she kind of looks a bit like Boo. If she ever let you put her hair in pigtails, I reckon she'd be a spit. So.